Good morning, I'm Barbara Kay, here with Susan Pertnoy, and welcome to Mosaic, Jewish Federation of Palm Beach County's weekly news magazine show. Mosaic explores Jewish topics here in the Palm Beaches and around the world. In the Jewish community, philanthropy plays a key role in empowering meaningful work across the globe. In today's changing world, it's a new age for philanthropy, with the evolving desires of donors and opportunities to give. This morning on Mosaic, we'll speak with the chair of the Jewish Federation's 2017 annual campaign, who will explain the unique impact of giving to Federation this year. We'll then hear from two volunteers with Federation's record-breaking Giving Tuesday efforts. And then we'll sit down with David Fox, Jewish Federation's exciting new executive, who's changing the way we give in the Jewish community. We'll be right back with Mosaic. From empowering Jewish college students to stand up to anti-Israel activity on campus, to enabling seniors and Holocaust survivors to age with dignity, transforming, inspiring, saving, Jewish Federation of Palm Beach County is doing all of this here and around the world. They say that caring for the elderly is a profession of the heart. As the director of home health care at Morse Life, I know that to be true. When I see an older person feeling safe and secure at home, I know I've done my job. To make a difference, to show compassion, dignity, and respect, it's not just our job, it's our mission. Morse Life Home Health Care. Morse Life Health System, honoring senior living. Welcome, Paul Fine. You're the 2017 Annual Campaign Chair of our Federation. What a yeoman's job you've taken on. It's really quite something. We're here at the JCC in Boynton Beach where the Federation is participating in Giving Tuesday. And down the hall, there's a phonathon. Can you tell us first about First of all, what is Giving Tuesday? Sure, it, uh, it's my pleasure to be here and thank you for inviting me. Uh, Giving Tuesday is an initiative that was started about five years ago and it's timed uh, appropriately right after Thanksgiving. And as we all know, Thanksgiving is a time of the year where people thank for the fine things that they have and want to certainly give back in some fashion to those who are in need. Uh, and this initiative, which is the first Tuesday after Thanksgiving, is focused on providing the resources to give to those in need in our community uh, the necessary tools that they can improve their quality of life, whether it be in, in, ch in children, or whether it be in seniors, or whether it be in any area of health and social service support. There's so many charities that are participating all over the world right. in, in Giving Tuesday. Why, is, why should people give to the Federation? Well, first, let me say uh, we respect uh, all the charities are, that are involved in our community uh, with Giving Tuesday. Uh, they provide a vital service to those in their community that they support. But at the same time, the Jewish Federation's Giving Tuesday supports Jews in our community, and it's important that we recognize that. Uh, what we do is we are having phonathons here in Boynton Beach, JCC, in West Palm Beach, and in Palm Beach Gardens today, celebrating the Giving Tuesday and soliciting and asking our contributors in the general community to support the role that the Federation plays in supporting the Jewish community, both the young people in our community who need our services and certainly our seniors who certainly need our services, and uh, as important, all of the Holocaust survivors in our community who, have, uh, who are in dire need of our financial support. It's a, it's a wonderful endeavor, it's a wonderful day, and we're looking forward to having a very successful day today. I'm sure you will. As a matter of fact, we just heard from one of your phonathon uh, people right. that she just received an increase of a gift from 10000 to $18,000. She was very excited. That's really quite something. It was, it was terrific. I was yes. part of that, and it was really exciting for the woman who felt that she had an obligation to give back, and this was the one way that she could give back and feel good about Giving Tuesday, and we hope we have many more like that today. T explain to me if I want to donate to, let's say, a special needs and the Federation has its agencies and you could give directly to the agency, 
to the special needs, why is it important to give a gift through the Federation? Well, first, we certainly respect any donor who has, uh, who wants to choose and designate their gift to a specific interest or to a specific cause within the Jewish community. But at the same time, we are hopeful that people not only will designate their gifts to whatever their interest is, but there is a recognition that there are a number of people in our community and around the world who are in need of our financial support. And we as a federation can provide the resources to all of the needs in our community and around the world uh, through the annual campaign. The annual campaign is the fundamental belief and the funda uh, fundamental necessity in our community in order to support not only what we do, but also the services that are provided by the JCC, Albert Jewish Family Service, the Commission for Jewish Education, the seniors in our community. So we provide an umbrella of financial resources for a number of organizations in our community and around the world that one person could not necessarily do on, his, on its own. What are you doing as campaign chair differently this year in our ca annual campaign from previous years? Well, thank you for asking the question. Um, for some time, the Federation has, uh, I don't want to say reluctant, but we have not been uh, as forthcoming in the way that we do business as we should be. One of the things that occurred this year uh, under the leadership of Michael Hoffman, our, 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 senior, our, our leader, our, our professional leader, is that we instituted a, a task force to look at the way we raise money and are we doing it in the most constructive and productive way, recognizing that our donors uh, expect more from their dollars that they contribute and recognizing that the Federation needs to be more responsive to our individual donors. At the as a result of that task force report, we now recognize that uh, choice of where our contributors give their money is important. Uh, we recognize that the Federation must be more transparent to our donors and philanthropists as to where their money goes. We recognize that there is a number of young people in our community who are demanding to know more about where their money goes and how it's spent. Because that's the trend, that definitely is the trend today. N no question giving. about it. And uh, we are very fortunate with our leadership, both lay and professional, that we recognize that the world of philanthropy is changing. And what we must do now is to, is to separate ourselves from the historical way that we've raised money and move into a, a new paradigm, if you will, of how we go about it. And that is what we are about doing. Uh, we've set up uh, task forces to look at the way we raise money. We're, we're looking at the way that we can be more responding to our community donors. And we're also re reaching out to those in the community who can help us uh, change the face of Federation going forward so that uh, we'll be in a better place tomorrow than we were yesterday. Well, that's a great tagline. We hope so. Um, what are some of the events that you have planned for this season? Well, most of the events that we have are geared now for the beginning of the year because we still have many friends at the Federation who are still up north and generally do not come down until the first of the year. Uh, we have two major events uh, in January and March uh, to recognize our major contributors uh, in one event, and then we have a community-wide event in March uh, where we will be recognizing all of those who support our Federation with a hopefully a festive and enjoyable evening. Uh, we're in the process of uh, soliciting our guest speakers for those two events uh, and we're hopeful that uh, the speakers that we have will be exciting and will be an attraction to bring as many in our community as possibly can attend. So we've got a full agenda in terms of events for the campaign year. Um, our campaign, as you know, started actually right after the Jewish New Year. Uh, we're in the process of what we're calling 100 Days of Impact, where we're reaching out to all sectors of the community, soliciting their financial support. And today, um, Giving Tuesday is the capstone of, of that 100 days. Uh, once we start the new year uh, in January, uh, we will really become 
more visible and aggressive in terms of our annual campaign. It sounds like it's very exciting. I, I must ask you, you cannot take on a role such as this without great passion. Where did this come from? Well, you know, it's interesting. I think initially, obviously, it came from my parents. Um, I grew up in a small community in Wilmington, Delaware, a very small Jewish population. And uh, we all had to participate if we were going to have a vibrant Jewish community. So it, it was inherent on me to accept that responsibility. Uh, coming down here uh, and seeing what was happening in our community and the vitality that was displayed, uh, I felt an obligation, uh, very honestly, instead of playing golf every day or deciding where, where to go out for dinner, that uh, as I got older, I wanted to be more productive and I wanted to feel that I was making a contribution for the future welfare of our community. And it was not a hard sale to ask me to take the chairmanship. Very honestly. Well, you are definitely making a difference. Well, thank thank you, you so much, Paul, for joining thank us. Thank you. My pleasure to be here. Mm -hmm. Coming up, we'll hear from a pair of volunteers on a record-breaking day for our Jewish community. The patients who come to us after illness or injury are often in pain and fearful of losing their independence. I make it my mission to treat them like family. I listen to their concerns. I help them heal and gain strength. My goal is for them to not need us. To know that I help them, there's no better feeling. Moore's Life Short-Term Rehabilitation. Moore's Life Health System, honoring senior living. From empowering Jewish college students to stand up to anti-Israel activity on campus, to enabling seniors and Holocaust survivors to age with dignity, transforming, inspiring, Saving. Jewish Federation of Palm Beach County is doing all of this here and around the world. So I've grabbed two people who are dealing with the phonathon at our Federation's Giving Tuesday. We have Marion and Warren with us. Welcome to Mosaic. Thank you. And I have a question. Why are you so involved with our Federation? Well, it goes back to the Six Day War. When that happened, we had, to, we had to contribute and do what we could to help. And that was down in Hollywood, Florida. And that's how I got involved. Uh, I helped raise money uh, for all the reasons. And I've stayed with it all along. And then I got involved also uh, because I wanted my children to have a Jewish education. And uh, there wasn't a day school for them. So I said, well, wait a minute, maybe we can, we'll found one, we'll start one. And uh, along with some other people, we started the Hillel Community Day School, which is now a huge uh, school, and, and that's very exciting. And my children all went to day school and graduated. And So you're going. obviously extraordinarily committed. I am extraordinarily <laughs> committed. Yes. Warren, you're new to the community. Yes, Can right. you tell us why you're, you're well, it's, a part it's, of this? For me, it's all about giving back. Uh, you know, it started when I was young. Mm -hmm. My grandfather was a rabbinical teacher in the Bronx. Uh, he was a refugee from, you know, Eastern Europe. And my father just instilled, you know, that to me and just continued. And I just love it. You know, the three of us are, are supporters of our Jewish Federation, and we everybody, we all have a different reason. I grew up here, and the Federation mm. has been in my life, my entire life, and very important, important to me. How about you, Warren? Why are you involved with our Federation? Well, for one thing, uh, I just love giving back. I, I want I, all the good causes that they have, you know, and, and you have to just keep the Jewish theme going, you know, with all the bad things going on in the world, it's just a good cause. All the anti-Semitism, and we just, Jews have to stay together. Marion? It is the backbone of the Jewish community. I can be a member of a synagogue, which I am, but nothing takes the place of the Jewish Federation. It's the convener it, of Jewish life. It is. It really that's is. Correct. If you were watching the show from home, what would you say about why you want to give to our 2017 annual campaign? 
Okay, well, first of all, if you gave last year, you have to give this year. <laughs> it's, it's very important. Uh, we need the money. We have all these great causes. All people, Jews all over the world, people all over the world. You know, it's an important thing. Do you have something to add to that, Miriam? Well, it's just the backbone of the Jewish community, and if we don't give, there won't be one. And there's so many uh, Jewish organizations that depend on us. I mean, we talk about uh, it, it. Federation is the umbrella of all of them. And uh, I can go to the synagogue, I can go to uh, Hadassah, whatever, but Federation is still my love. And I do what I can, but that's the umbrella for all the Jewish organizations. It really is um, very important for the survival of for our Jewish, Jewish people. people. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's the answer. Thank you for joining us. Okay. Our, our pleasure. Thank you very much for having us. Coming up, we'll sit down with Jewish Federation's exciting new executive who's changing the way we give in our community. They say that caring for the elderly is a profession of the heart. As the director of home health care at Morse Life, I know that to be true. When I see an older person feeling safe and secure at home, I know I've done my job. To make a difference, to show compassion, dignity, and respect, it's not just our job, it's our mission. Morse Life Home Health Care. Morse Life Health System, honoring senior living. From empowering Jewish college students to stand up to anti-Israel activity on campus, to enabling seniors and Holocaust survivors to age with dignity, transforming, inspiring, saving, Jewish Federation of Palm Beach County is doing all of this here and around the world. What a pleasure to have you, the Chief Development Officer of the Federation. Thanks, I'm Barbara. so pleased to have you here. Thank you very much. I'm Listen, we were here. listening to the other aspects of the program heard some of the people that are working here and mm -hmm. contributing their time, their effort, and why they do it. And I'm curious, you came from APAC, mm -hmm. which is a very, very different kind of uh, philanthropy. What made you choose to come from APAC to Federation? Was it a, just a, a, a general like or, or the fact that you like the way they work? or? Sure. The focus? So Federation and APAC are in two completely different businesses. Yes. And what was exciting about Federation was the opportunity about this particular community and Federation as a whole. So um, as you know, Barbara, this community is growing exponentially. A lot of young families are moving mm -hmm. to town. We're looking at a population doubling in the Jewish community in the next 10 years. And uh, a lot of people that live in this area have been seasonal folks. And now a lot of people are staying year round. Mm -hmm. And so what was exciting to me was being able to build up the Jewish community as a whole to meet the needs of the community. So whether it's helping seniors, you know, age at home, at home in dignity uh, or to help young families build Jewish community. I have a young family and we're, we're very much excited to be part of the Jewish community here and involved with the Jewish Community Center and having our kids involved in the educational programs that take place around town and really have an opportunity to build community. Um, and we see this federation as the city hall of the Jewish people. And, I like that. And we, we love it and, and um, it's just an exciting time to be here. Um, and it's an exciting organization with new leadership and incredible lay leadership. And together we're partnering for just a tremendous, you know, decades ahead. Yeah, you know, it's wonderful. We're shooting here now in a j part of the JCC. Uh -huh. And uh, today's a special day because it's Giving Tuesday. People want to give something, make the, the world a better place. Yeah. Why do you think that the Federation would be called the City Hall? I like the idea that you use that term. You know, it's because it's really, a City Hall embraces everybody in the community. Right. You know, it, it, Federation is unique and it's one of our challenges. And, uh -huh. and because it's one of our challenges, it's one of our opportunities. Um, we are everything to the Jewish community. And so we want to be people's philanthropic advisors. We want people to come to us and say, um, I want to give. Can you please help me? How can I give to certain areas? Or I have needs or my family has needs and there are services that the Jewish community can help me and my family, um, whether it's um, someone that has a family with special needs kids or uh, someone that would like their children who may be autistic to go and get a Jewish education at a Hebrew school. There's a lot of challenges with that. Um, and so we wanna be the one-stop shop 
for the Jewish people in the Palm Beaches. And actually, not even just the Jewish people. Uh, Federation helps a lot of people that aren't Jewish throughout the community, like our literacy program. We have over right. 400 volunteers that read to students throughout the community mm -hmm. um, and, help, and help read. I mean, it's an incredible opportunity. So you think that there's a lot of future here for the Federation? Absolutely. This, I think this is, this is, we joke internally that this, this Federation is almost like a 50-year startup organization. It's 50 years old, but we're, we're brand new. Uh, it's, a, it's a new day here at Federation in the Palm Beaches. There's new leadership, there's new lay leaders involved, and there's some stalwarts in the community like yourself and, and your family who are really bringing us all together to build one tremendous community for the future. You know, the Federation does something interesting. It does a research program on the, the challenges of all the communities, whether there be a lot of aged people living here, a lot of young people with children, mm -hmm. and et cetera, et cetera. And they make choices of the kind of services to offer. Right. And we have a, we have a, a tremendous complex of services here. Yeah. We have the Moss Geriatric Center, the uh, Commission for Jewish Education, the Jewish Community Center, et cetera, et cetera. I think that takes somebody very special and very, um, What's the word I want to look for? Concerned about where this future community is going to go. Right. If it doesn't do that, I mean, how can you really prepare? Right, absolutely. We, have, we partner with tremendous agencies and synagogues around the entire uh, county. And um, we ha we work, we, our partners are amazing. Um, whether it's the, the organizations that you just mentioned or JF and CS, and we partner together uh, to bring those services. So, one of the things that Federation is doing this year, different from other, year, other years, is focusing on the causes uh, and the needs of the community and not necessarily the agencies by name. Because we believe that the, um, the people uh, that sit around and make really tough decisions, our lay leadership and our professional staff together to say, which organizations, which agencies are developing these programs and how can they uh, use our resources that we're able to raise for them? You know, we're the single largest contributor. Uh, to each one of the agencies in the county. Um, and there's specific grants that we can give in addition to the allocations process that we do. Um, but we, we have a checks and balances system. And we know through our annual campaign that we're able to m help meet the needs of the community. Yeah, we also uh, work worldwide as well. Correct. We have a partner uh, with uh, the Joint Distribution Committee yep. and the Jewish Agency for Israel. And we help with all the problems and concerns that, that exists there as well. Yeah, I mean, in addition to the, the daily needs uh, in Israel and our 70 partners uh, around the world, around the world yeah. um, through the annual campaign, I'll give you an example. You just mentioned the, the, Jewish, aid, the Jewish agency. Mm -hmm. The fires that are taking place right now in yeah, Israel. It's terrible in Haifa. The, correct, and it's the, the, terrorist organi the terrorists that are creating those fires um, kind of uh, gave us the opportunity to say, well, we have a terrorist fund through the, the Jewish agency, and mm -hmm. we're going to distribute money uh, to these families who are now homeless. And there's all, uh, half a million dollars has been allocated to this point already um, through our partners. So th uh, yeah. through, through the money raised by this federation and other federations around the country, we're able to make those uh, allocations to our partners and they're able to distribute those funds directly to people in need in Israel. Yeah, they also often wonder if there is a future. In other words, when I talked to you originally, just in the beginning of this conversation, we talked about the future of Federation mm -hmm. and the needs change and you said something interesting we used to work one way when the community was different but now that everybody seems to feel that they want a hands-on feeling mm -hmm. about where their money goes sure. and how they spend their money how do we do that for our Federation or is there a future for the Federation in that regard sure um, we're going to take a, a balanced approach so the annual campaign is the lifeblood of the Jewish Federation. So it's the collective giving, it's the power yeah. of the collective. Um, as I mentioned earlier, there's a group of, we have co different committees that get together to meet and say, what are the needs of the community? They look at it uh, on an on a annual basis, or what are the ongoing needs of the community? Mm -hmm. And they help us decide uh, as a community where we're gonna be allocating those funds. But on top of that, we have a, the ability to um, help, I, I mentioned earlier, we wanna be people's philanthropic advisors. We have the ability to help people give directly to, um, to organizations and to um, agencies that are on our allocations tables through the Federation. So on top of the dollars that we allocate through the process, someone who has a passion for Israel or a passion for, for children, children yeah. 
they'll be able to give directed dollars um, through that. But we want to make sure that people contribute to the annual campaign first, and then on top of their annual campaign gift, help them give directed dollars. And we're also able to do that through our Jewish Community Foundation. Um, one of the trends in giving today is something called donor, donor advised funds. Uh, they're almost like mini foundations. And what it does is it allows people to um, make a donation to their own donor advised fund and then allocate themselves uh, to different organizations and agencies through their own little foundation that's housed with our Jewish Community Foundation. Listen, you've done a remarkable job. I mean, you're brand new here. And the community, the bottom line of the community has really developed, much more so than it has in the past. What do you think you did that uh, increased the opportunity for people to give more money? Well, I would say it starts with the leadership up top. So our uh, chairman of, our, of the board, Ray Golden, uh -huh. and the board of directors, our CEO, Michael Hoffman, um, we've made it exciting again. The goal is to make Federation exciting again. Exciting. Yeah. Right. And people need, they want to be involved uh, with something that's exciting, that's doing good, and that's a winner. And so what we've tried to do is bring that type of enthusiasm to the community. And then on top of it, build an organization. We have incredible staff, but we need to keep building that staff and we need to keep training that staff. So I'm a big proponent on organizational structure. I'm a big proponent on professional development. Uh, we're working with our partners in the Mandel Center for, for Excellence. Um, on lay development, staff development. We're very focused on three things as a federation. Donors, dollars, and leaders. It's not just about um, can you talk to somebody who is a mega philanthropist mm -hmm. and bring them into the fold and have them make a large contribution. It's about that $100 donor that really wants to give their last $100 to the organization because they know it's going to be great. Well, I want to tell you something. Yeah. Because I have a feeling of trust for you. I have a feeling of trust for the organization as well. Thank you. <laughs> I thank want to you. thank you so much. Thank you, Barbara. It was a pleasure to listen to My you. My pleasure. Thank you so much. Coming up, final thoughts on Mosaic. Thousands of community members come together through programs and services provided by Federation and our local partner agencies to create a vibrant and vital community in Palm Beach County. Together, we can ensure a vibrant Jewish future. Federation and you, changing the world together. Wasn't that great, Susan? It really was. And I know the tally for Giving Tuesday, $1.6 million, a record. That's incredible. It really is. Over 500 people gave today. It's really quite something. Well, you know, they're doing some remarkable things at the Federation. We're so proud. Yes, we are. We're very fortunate. Yes. Be with us again next week when we have another look into the Jewish world. Goodbye from Mosaic.